Don't give them your energy. Your energy is very important. You do a lot when you feel a certain type of way. And when these things are happening in the world, you're going to find yourself being drawn to specific behaviors, specific actions, taking action, because you're going to be emotionally triggered. I mean, let's think about it. We've been, for the past few months, worrying about the coronavirus, worrying about getting sick, worrying about our loved ones dying. And the media has been perpetuating this worry very successfully, to the point where you're tuning in every single day, you're buying the newspapers, and you're feeding into the media, only further perpetuating their agenda of profiting and making money. It's no secret that the more views you get, the more money you make. It's very easy to control the flow of income that comes in through your media stream when you can predict the behavior of, well, the masses. And so don't give them your attention. Don't give them your attention. Because if you give them your attention, you're going to be opening yourself up to giving them your energy. Now, what does that look like? Well, what that looks like is when they bait you and you get an emotional reaction, now you're going to do exactly what they want. When they bait you, successfully triggering an emotional reaction within you, they're going to be able to further get what they want because now you become, as a person, predictable. You're more than likely going to do exactly what it is that they want you to do. And if you're not going to do it, if you're too awake, if you're too aware, when it comes to knowing what's actually going on, then they're going to have to have people come in to make sure you get the message. And what is the message? Well, since George Floyd recently passed away, there's been a lot of peaceful protests. You know, a lot of people doing things in his name. Last night, everyone was blacking out their cameras on their phone and posting an Instagram post of, well, just darkness to support the cause that Black Lives Matter. And I'm sure there's going to be many more things out there within these next upcoming weeks to further support this fact. But, you know, when peace prevails, when things don't quite go according to their plan, that is when they have to send in the agents. I was at a dinner yesterday and I caught a wind, I caught a word from a friend of mine, recently met him here in Bali, that they've been sending in government agents in order to deliberately burn down buildings, break windows and start riots, all in an attempt to skew the public's perspective on what's going on. I'm going to be honest with you. When I caught wind of this happening, I thought to myself, this could be disastrous. But when I found out how people were reacting, I got happy. Faith in humanity restored, everyone is showing a very positive side of their personality towards this very triggering, traumatic, in a sense event. Luckily, we caught that, you know, that side, that glimpse into humanity before these people came in to control the situation, our internal situation. And so don't give them your energy, because if you give them your energy, you let go of your power. Your power is how you feel at any given situation, situation and or moment. And if you can control your emotions during these times, you'll have an expanded awareness for which you'll be able to act upon and come up with new solutions, new ways to protest peacefully. This has been happening for a long period of time. Everyone has been trying to pull your energy. Everyone has been trying to teach you how to emotionally react to life. Because when you've been emotionally reacting in the same way towards your external environment, that will become an automatic behavior. You'll wake up like that automatically. You'll bring those feelings to work into your relationships, into your family dynamics. And then by doing so, everything that you say is going to be charged off of those emotions. Now, how many times have you been drawn in to specific things, arguments, pop-ups on your computer screen, 
which completely shift your energy and then dictate how you're going to behave for the rest of the day. And so when it comes to our culture, a lot of us aren't actually behaving in accordance to our true selves, because what we know as ourselves is being dictated by what we're tuning into. Okay. This is why a lot of people who are successful surround themselves around other successful people. They only look at media content that inspires them towards their dreams. And they tend to stay away from the things that pull their energy. When you master this, you master your life. And if you can master your life in this way, you determine what happens, not just experientially, but also health wise. When your energy is being poured into all these different modalities of thought and being, well, then you become a match to specific outcomes. If you're constantly losing energy or becoming mad, you get sick. Your organs don't run properly. If you're constantly aroused because of what you're tuning into, then your life will take a very direct approach towards finding a mate and well, populating. Now, again, is this what you want? You'll become in some way, shape or form that which you're tuning into that which you're focusing on. If you focus on an angry person, they'll teach you how to be angry. And when the environment is right, you will be angry. You'll know exactly what to do. The same thing happens when you hang around peaceful people, you'll learn by example, how to deal with difficult situations in a very calm manner. So maintain your energy, pay attention to what you're focusing on and pay attention to how it's making you feel. And in relation, how your feelings are then shifting your thoughts. Big picture. Are you heading in the direction that you'd like in life? I'm Ryan JC, Ryan James Cropper, spiritual life coach. I didn't give myself that name. It was given to me. I swear, not an ego thing. <laughs> you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I post an upcoming video. Check out my website, ryancropper.com if you'd like to speak to me. And for the rest of y'all, I'll speak to you pretty soon. Peace.